From the soil under our feet to the stars above, matter makes up everything in the universe. Matter comes in four states, solids, liquids, gas, or plasma. In solids, molecules are tightly packed and maintain their shape. Add energy, like heat, and the molecules begin to separate and melt into a shapeless liquid. More energy, and matter turns into gas. Superheated gas becomes plasma, the fourth state of matter, where electrons tear away from their atomic nucleus and float freely around it. Even in cold climates, solids like this snow turn to water when heat energy pushes the temperature above water's melting point. Liquids can't hold solid shapes, but they do have volume and move to fill the space available, even space as big as oceans. While it's obvious that ice melts, even rock solids melt when they're subjected to enough energy. Rocks melted by the heat and pressure deep in the earth erupt from volcanoes as liquid magma and lava. Gas molecules are farther apart and have even more energy than liquids. Gases like air and hydrogen gas in the universe have no fixed shape or volume. Superheated gases in the universe are plasma. Plasma makes up more than 99% of our visible universe. Its electrically charged particles are the stuff of stars. Physicist Albert Einstein came up with an equation, E equals mc squared, to help explain the relationship between energy and mass. The simplest interpretation suggests that matter can be converted into energy and energy into matter. The theory helps explain the curious beginning of the universe when an enormous amount of energy became matter. All right, we're on target, Phil. No matter what state matter's in, it demonstrates the property of inertia. This natural law means that matter doesn't change unless it's made to by some outside force. Ice may be moved to melt and an avalanche to slow only when moving forces such as heat act on them.